The Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert Certification is commonly recognized as the industry's most prestigious technical certification. CCIE candidates can pursue various tracks, including route switch, security, service provider, wireless, storage networking, and voice. To attain a CCIE certification, a candidate must pass a written exam and then complete a hands-on lab successfully. The CCIE Voice Lab is widely considered to be one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult, of all the CCIE labs. The exam covers a wide range of topics, including basic campus design, CUCM and CUCME, voice gateway and signaling, dial plan and call routing, codec selection and CAC, media resources management, QoS features, voicemail integration, Cisco Unified Contact Center Express, presence, and high availability features. The CCIE Voice Lab presents you with a series of tasks in different topic areas. The number of tasks varies. Unlike some of the CCIE tracks, the Voice Lab no longer contains open-ended questions because troubleshooting is integrated into the lab exam. As a result, the CCIE Voice Lab consists of multiple hands-on tasks. You must score 80% on the Voice Lab to pass. When you're taking the lab, each major task is labeled with how many points each task is worth. The number of points totals 100. The exam has a time limit of 8 hours. A lunch break is included, which doesn't take away from the 8 hours allotted for the lab. In order to take the exam, you must first register with Cisco. Have personal identification, such as a social security number and a credit card ready when registering. There are two main challenges in taking the CCIE Voice Lab. First, the lab contains a wide variety and depth of topics on which you will be challenged. For example, in the Voice Gateway and Signaling area, you will be asked to configure voice gateways such as MGCP, H323, and or SIP gateways using T1 and or E1 digital circuits. These digital circuits might be configured for channel-associated signaling or as ISDN primary rate interface circuits. This is just one example. You should closely examine Cisco's CCIE Voice Lab blueprint for a complete listing of topics that might appear in the lab. The number of tasks you need to complete in eight hours can seem daunting after reading through the lab. For example, if you configure service parameters, partitions, and calling search spaces early on in your lab, and then later discover that you need to set up AAR, you would have to go back and enable AAR in the service parameters, as well as creating the appropriate AAR partitions and calling search spaces. By spending 15 to 20 minutes at the beginning of the lab to read through all of the tasks, you could identify such topics and minimize having to retrace your steps. Since time can be your enemy on this lab, avoid going back and revisiting prior tasks. The time constraints leave little time to troubleshoot any configurations that you don't get right the first time. Be very careful in your configurations to minimize the issues you'll have to troubleshoot. In order to prepare for the exam, we recommend that you review the exam objectives found at the Cisco Learning Network. Hands-on experience adds tremendous value, too. Buy, rent, or borrow gear, use simulators and emulators to practice a variety of scenarios. Cisco's website provides a list of equipment and software versions to expect on the CCIE Voice Lab. Practice labs are also available from training companies such as IP Expert, INE, and CC Bootcamp. Many CCIE Voice Lab candidates also benefit from collaborating with other candidates during their study. Become familiar with some of the blogs and message boards focused on CCIE Voice Lab studies and find people in your area to study with. Finally, take advantage of the Cisco Learning Network. You can pose questions and often get multiple answers in just minutes. It's a hugely popular place for folks to collaborate on their path towards Cisco certification. There are several study guides that will help you deepen your understanding of the key topics. Cisco Voice over IP Authorized Self-Study Guide by Kevin Wallace can help you learn how to perform advanced digit manipulation on an H323 router. 
Configure H323, MGCP, and SIP gateways. This book also covers the Cisco Unified Border Element. Cisco IP Communications Express, Call Manager Express with Cisco Unity Express can act as a great reference for your CUCME and CUE study. We also recommend the Implementing Cisco Unified Communications Manager Authorized Self-Study Guides, Part 1 by Dennis Hartman and Part 2 by Chris Olson. This pair of books introduces you to initial setup and CUCM features, configuring route plans, media resources, providing MOH from a remote site router's flash, SRST, and configuring of mobility features. Since troubleshooting is integrated into the CCIE Voice Lab, Troubleshooting Cisco IP Telephony can assist you in troubleshooting your home or rack rental lab configurations. Finally, Cisco QoS Exam Certification Guide, IP Telephony Self-Study, can help you to prepare for the quality of service section of the lab. PearsonITCertification.com is your trusted source for certification preparation materials, including books, ebooks, videos, flashcards, simulations, and more. Connect to us via Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and subscribe to our on-certification channel in iTunes. Your next step should be to build your library of documentation for your reference and ongoing learning during your studies. Then become acquainted with some of the CCIE Voice Lab discussion boards and blogs. Next, determine how you're going to do your hands-on practice. Will you use a rack rental or will you build a home lab? You might want to purchase a collection of practice labs. If your budget allows for it, consider attending a CCIE Voice Lab boot camp from a CCIE training provider. Finally, since you're going to spend hundreds of hours working through your practice labs, find a way to make this task fun. Crank up the music, celebrate your successes, and become incredibly curious about the topics you're studying. Good luck!